So here at Rackspace, we're interested in uh, how the future of business is uh, going to be done. And so I'm seeing a variety of companies that help uh, businesses get going on the internet. So if you're a marketer, uh, how do you join your, your page or your brand page along with the communities like on uh, social networks like Facebook? Well, Talkwheel has a solution that's pretty interesting and we're going to see it right now. And who are you? Um, I'm Jeff Harris. I'm the CEO of Talkwheel. Yep. So uh, I've been really interested in the whole conversation space for a while now. Um, 2008, I started a company called iDebater. The purpose of iDebater was to bring people together to debate the election coming up. Um, and as the way people were interacting on the site, there's a bunch of a lot of random comments coming in, but people really weren't connecting, having meaningful conversations with each other. Um, so that's when we changed focus. Instead of building a standalone social network, to build a conversation platform that really facilitated high levels of group conversation. Very cool. So um, tell me a little bit about what Talkwheel's doing. Who's it for, first of all? Um, so we work primarily with brands right now, a few artists as well. Brands and being like movie brands or both. Procter so, & Gamble brands? Both. Or? So media companies like NBC, Universal, companies like that, as well as consumer brands like Procter & Gamble, Clorox, companies like that. And is it only for bigger companies or more existing companies? Or? It, it's for both. Um, so the two things that Talkwheel is trying to do is create a more visual, engaging environment for brands to interact. And the second is you want to connect um, consumers no matter where they're interacting on brands. So a lot of brands that might have a pretty big Facebook page but not much engagement going on on their website. So you want to unify their engagement so they can leverage that Facebook interaction back to their website to really kind of create a much larger interactive community. No, that's really smart because it, if you can't move people off of Facebook and onto your own uh, page, you don't really own them or you don't exactly. really uh, you can't really take them in and monetize them, right? Exactly. Convert so, them into users of other things on your site. Exactly. So even conversation data happening outside of Talkwell on a Facebook brand wall, we still bring back within Talkwell. So you may basically make your entire Facebook conversation portable, as well as we do analytics on that data too, so you can get valuable insight if people are interacting within Talkwell or outside of Talkwell too. Now, uh, how does this work? Let, let's say I'm Universal Studios and I want to put this into all of our properties. How, how does it work? Um, so we'll probably work with the, on a movie basis. So say you have a big movie coming out. So you usually create a website for it. And you have potentially have a mobile app. What we do is we integrate Talkwell across all the different platforms. So we put Talkwell on, on the movie's Facebook page. We put Talkwell on the website. We put Talkwell on your mobile app. So what do I have to do to my apps to get Talkwheel? It's just a snippet of code. So you just do a little snippet of code, you plug it in, it takes just a couple of minutes. And you, the whole thing is you want to cre create a more engaging environment for your fans so they keep coming back. And does it work on uh, all the mobile platforms or does it just it does. work on so iOS? So we work on mobile a couple of different ways. So if a brand or a movie, for example, they do not have a mobile app, we can white label our technology, give them an Android, iPhone, iPad app, customize it specifically for them. Um, a lot of people we work with already have a mobile app, but a lot of times people download the app once and they never come back. So we incorporate that discussion into their mobile app. So we power their discussions, keeps their fans engaging with each other, keeps them coming back to your mobile app. Now, th uh, this costs some money, so uh, how much would uh, Universal have to pay you to put Talkwheel in? Yeah, so Universal would probably fall in our enterprise, which is the custom fee, um, but for smaller, medium-sized businesses, you know, the price goes down to about $1.99 a month on the okay. lower end, but for $1.99 a month, our second tier is $4.99 a month, and the enterprise is the custom, custom charge. Very cool. So the first thing is I'll show you how Talkwheel looks on, off a website, but I'll show you how it looks on Facebook, mobile, and kind of the admin panel as well. So Talkwell can be integrated on any blog, any website with just a few lines of code customized specifically for you. So this is the conversation going on right now around Keith Urban. Um, if, I, if, if a user of Keith Urban entered through his Facebook page, his mobile app, his website, they'll all see the same conversation no matter where they enter. Okay. So say I'm interested in the group music. I click on music. I see all the trending topics going on around music. Okay. These topics can be created from all the different platforms because we unify the conversation. So say, for example, I'm interested in the most romantic song by Keith Urban. I click on that conversation, and I see all the dialogue going on right now on that. So we're in um, the group, Keith Urban, the topic, most romantic song. I mean, so the left side is kind of your standard linear form. You know, you can see all the comments there. Uh, but you know, the real innovation behind talk was a circular dynamic. Um, what we want to do is here is create a higher, more visual group dynamic instead of just a purely linear model. And a Twitter feed, a form, when you see this linear model, it's a bunch of random comments coming in, but people really not connecting, having that meaningful conversation with each other. Yeah. So it's a visual of the forum side. So around the wheel is everyone talking about the topic most romantic song. 
these people could be coming in from all the different platforms. So it's not just his Twitter feed or Facebook wall or his mobile app or websites everywhere. So when I scroll over a comment by a user, it visually maps out who's talking to whom. One of the biggest complaints you heard in all group conversation online, no matter the platform, is you're constantly getting lost trying to follow a thread. So we yeah. easily show that visual dynamic. So and right this way, if you really are into a community, you'll notice one or two or 15 people really are, are good. Yep. You know, they're, they, they're, exactly. They might be on the band yep. right, exactly. with Keith or in his entourage, and you want to follow what they say because they're more credible and more interesting. Exactly. So I can just click on a picture and see everything that they're saying and, and see who they're replying to. And exactly, stuff like exactly. Interesting. Exactly. Even when there's more and more people in the thread, so this, this one only has three people in the thread, but there's more and more people you know, scrolling up and down trying to see who's talking to whom. And here you can clearly visualize because Sarah's replying to Kathy, Kathy's replying to Lexi. These are the three comments right here. As a user, I can you know, reply to anyone directly when I reply to Kathy. Click reply, you know, make my comment here. It's pushed back to Facebook, mobile, everywhere talk was embedded around Keith Urban. Can we go see what it looks like on Facebook? Just so Absolutely. Know. Absolutely. So it's just a standard Facebook page, right? Yeah. So this is this is the web this is the website version uh, yeah. Facebook. So Talk on Facebook runs as an app. Okay. So it says Talk with us here. Yeah. Um, click on that. Now, does it pull the comments underneath your posts and stuff like that? Exactly. So conversation happening outside of talk within the brand's wall of the newsfeed is still brought back within talk and visualize. Okay. So you kind of help make sense of all the data still happening outside of talk. Okay. I mean, you see the exact same conversation. So these are different groups. You know, he was a judge in American Idol this year. So there's a group about that. We'll keep it consistent. So I showed you music before. Same yeah. thing here, you know, talking about most romantic songs going to that. It's the exact same conversation I showed you before. Got it. Um, and one of the cool things I'll also show you, just kind of talked about before, so let me show you this. Um, as you mentioned before, any comment, this is how it shows up. So anytime a user makes a comment in Talkwell, whether they're on the Facebook page or in the mobile app, it's all pushed back to Facebook if the user allows it. Um, so this is a conversation going on around NASCAR. This user, Sarah, made a comment that said, Dan, crawl all the way. So this is how it shows up in the news feed for her friends to see. Got you it. see the comment? with a link back to join the Facebook conversation. If I click on that, it'll take me directly into the NASCAR conversation. Click on it and just so Yeah, I just want to thing quick. Or I can click a comment. So I click on comment, I can leave a comment in the wall of the news feed. So I don't have to go back and answer your question before. It still visualizes being all those comments. But, but that comment will go back in the talk wheel if you click on, yes. you click on the actual uh, post so, so you, yeah. you see what it, you know, what it does. So it takes you into the talk wheel app and takes you right to that yeah. item, that group. Yeah. And, uh, Right into the NASCAR so conversation, so, so Chevrolet's Paradise, the NASCAR page. Cool. Yep. Okay, uh, so it's pretty simplistic, and mm -hmm. uh, it, you can see how it would encourage more uh, engagement because there's a visual component to yeah. it. Um, how are you guys funded? Tell me a little bit about. Yeah, so we raised so far. We raised about a million funding from a lot of top, top tier angels in Silicon Valley. Um, we're going out for a Series A towards the end of this year. Mm -hmm. um, our goal being is to get around 50,000 recurring revenue before we go for a Series A, so we're well on our way there. And we've kind of been talking to all the VCs and we have a good feeling who we want to raise money from, so it's kind of the plan towards December of this year. Very cool. Uh, where do we learn more about it? Um, Talkable.com. Okay. So you can go to our website, find out a lot more information about what we're doing. Um, you can email us at jeff.talkable.com jeff if you want a personal demo. Uh, so you do those on a pretty regular basis. Um, so yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Looks pretty good, and uh, it looks like it'll help brands uh, get get more engagement, which is really important. The more you engagement you get on your Facebook page, the more likely you are to get to everybody, which increases your brand's reach and all that. Exactly. Stuff. And you get, I mean, learn from your data, learn from too. So we're not we're, we're putting conversations in context now. So it's not a bunch of random comments. We can really make sense. We have a whole analytics too. We're really kind of analyzing who's important in the conversation. What do people like? What, they, what do what do they not like? So you can really get a lot of deep insight into who your users are. Very cool. For brands, do they get any analytics that they wouldn't get if they just use Facebook? Yeah, absolutely. So I'll kind of quickly show you I that. I didn't even think about that. Okay, cool. Yep. So this is kind of our first set of analytics. Um, we're actually releasing B2 of that next week, but uh, unfortunately it's not live yet. Um, so we, this is the first stage is talking about who's really influential in the conversation. Um, we don't want to just tell you who's popular online. We want to tell you who's really driving your specific topic of conversation. So this person, Heidi here, has, only made, has, has made 41 comments, which only really has a key influencer score of four. This person, Lance here, has made five comments, but he has a higher key influencer score. I click on his picture, I can see all the comments that he's made. And the reason he's influential is because he's creating comments and topics that people are responding to. He's not creating the topics no one cares about, he's driving that conversation around that specific person or brand. Got it. Mm -hmm. You can remove, you can analyze all that. 
Um, you can set up different, you can customize your app, you can set up different groups of privacy. So if I have a group of key influencers and I want to create, I have a focus group of a new product I want to come, product coming out. I can create a private focus group and invite my key influencers to have this discussion around that. So they're going to the platform the same way they always would, but they can see different exclusive content that other people will not see when they publish. That's a question. Do you have admins for this? Uh, you know, because in my community, I'm going to have you know, I have five hundred thousand people on Facebook alone. Yep. Yep. Uh, maybe I want to have some other rackers help me out and manage that community and, and delete posts that are inappropriate Absolutely. and stuff like that. Absolutely. Do you do you have that kind of admins tool yeah. or do you have to do that in Facebook? No, you, we have that admin tool. So you can remove comments, you can really monitor the conversation. I know, but well. can I give you access to my yep. talk wheel yep. so you that can, you, you can, can help you me? You can give access as an admin, you can give access to any, any specific users that you trust to kind of monitor your conversation. Very good. So it's really made for brands who are going to have to have multiple people telling a story on, be, on behalf it, of the brand. Exactly. The whole thing is you want to connect your users together so you, you know, the brand doesn't have to spend all this time trying to create that content and you leverage your influencers to really create that content for you. Very cool. In my conversation. Well, it's pretty cool. It's, it looks like you did a pretty good job and I'm looking forward to seeing on more brand pages. Yeah, absolutely. So, appreciate it. Thanks, thanks so much. Thanks.